the mighty Summon Skull! Hey guys, and welcome back to another Fake Card Friday. So, we're looking at Summon Skull? Yeah, like, what about Summon Skull? We already know who Summon Skull is. If you watch the original series, then you know who Summon Skull is. And actually, back in the day, he wasn't a bad card. You know, he was a one tribute, 25 beater. It's like, Dark Magician requires me to tribute two, while Summon Skull only requires me to tribute one, with the same amount of attack. Summon Skull for the win? But anyway, this person right here decided to go ahead and make a fake card of Summon Skull and actually give him an effect. So, we're just going to look at this new Summon Skull. Didn't change his name, didn't change the art, did nothing, nothing. It's pretty much an errata. So, instead of Summon Skull being this, you know, pretty decent one tribute 25 beater, now he actually has an effect. So, we're going to go over that effect and determine whether this is a pretty good effect or not. So, of course, we already know Summon Skull is a level 6 dark 2500 attack, 1200 defense fiend time monster. We already know that. Is he fiend? Is the original Summon Skull fiend? Wait, I think he might be thunder. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, let me see. Hold on, before you, 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 did you, did you change? Did you change him? Is he a fiend? Is he a fiend? Did you change him? No, he's a fiend, okay. Yeah, you kept the stats exactly the same. What's his original text? A fiend with dark powers for confusing the enemy among the fiend type monsters. This one boasts considerable force. This card is treated as an Archfiend card. Okay, they kind of put that in parentheses, so if you ever want to run Summon Skull in your Archfiend deck, you can, you can. <laughs> but he doesn't have that effect anymore. He's not an Archfiend. He's not considered Archfiend anymore because he actually has an effect now. So we're going to go over it. We're going to determine if it's good or not. So his effect reads, if, you con if your opponent controls at least two monsters and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. So you're getting outnumbered. They got two. You got none. Blam. 25B. It's like Cyber Dragon except stronger. But that's not his only effect. You could target one card on the field. Send one card from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, destroy that target. So, I get a free pop. So, my opponent has two monsters. I special summon. I go ahead and use the effect. I target your card. Target card on the field. Just any card. Face up, face down, back row, front row. Doesn't matter. Target a card on the field. Send a card. A card from your deck together. so pretty much foolish burial just send it and pop there's no cost really there's no cost actually that's a plus because sending cards to the graveyard is actually a really wonderful thing I mean we foolish burial is at one uh, dragon ravine is banned uh, dragon shrine is really really popular uh, excavating milling uh, using that uh that unukula hall in freaking uh, so tell us, sending to the graveyard is pretty good. So, uh, you know, dragon rulers. So just being able to have another foolish burial makes this card really good, you know? I'm, I would even consider running my Yubel deck just for a 25 beater that I can just drop on my opponent. And I can go ahead and send a card from my deck to the graveyard. So send my Doom Shaman or send Tinker to the graveyard and pop a card and still have a 25 beater. This card's pretty good. This effect of summon solve can only be used once per duel. Alright, well still, it's a foolish burial. You pretty much gave me another foolish burial, so now foolish burial is pretty much at two. Except, this foolish burial is on legs. You know, it's like, Mistake versus Thunder King Ryo. This foolish burial is on legs. This foolish burial has a 25 body and it gets to pop a card on my opponent's field. Pretty good, pretty good. Which card can I attack directly to turn you activate this effect? Oh, okay, that's fine. I totally don't mind that. You can only control one summon skull. I don't mind that either. I'd only run one, so because I can only if I can only use the effect once per duel, then why do I need to control multiple summon skulls? I'll just keep one. I'm cool. Well, I guess for balance of reasons, so you can't just go okay. Well, no, because you still you have to control no monsters. So yeah, I, I don't even know why you put that. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. I would run one. I would definitely run one. He's really good. Just you have two. I have none. Special summon twenty five beater. I'll use the effect. I'll go ahead and just send a card, whatever, send dart, whatever to the graveyard. Go ahead and pop that. Send one of my Burning Abyss cards. That effect will go off. Go ahead and pop that. You know, send one of my Shadals. Yeah, send my Deneb. <laughs> you know, there's just a ton of setups. Send a Dragon Ruler. Send send a Dandelion. Send uh, send a Malicious. Send a Plague Spreader. Send you know, there's just a ton of 
possibility you can do with this summon skull. Like, I know you want to kind of upgrade summon skull and make it, you know, an actual good card, because, you know, as the game progressed, it just became a, you know, 25 beater you have to tribute one for. And it's just like, is that really worth running in your deck? Of course not. But now that you gave this, him this effect, this card's actually pretty good. It's a foolish burial. It's another foolish, it's foolish burial on legs. I really like this card, and I would definitely run in my Ebel deck. So, tell me what, guys, tell me what you guys think about this new Summon Skull. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Thanks for watching.